Hey everybody, uh, welcome to day eight of the 21 for 21 fast. Uh, did not make a video for day seven, uh, kind of just took a day off from that to relax and just focus solely on the prayer time. Uh, anyway, one of the things that I wanted to share the idea for today so to speak, was the idea of praying your prayer and just praying and praying and praying until you receive an answer to that prayer. Um, the story of Hannah is, is where one of the things that I was reading about and, and really thinking about what all of that entails in the story where she prays to God and uh, she's just praying so much that she's just like moving her mouth at the end she's like she's lost her voice almost pretty much where she can't hardly talk and she's just pouring out her heart to God of what where she's at and what's going on and Eli coming in and he's like what's wrong with this woman she seems drunk because she's praying quietly just off in the corner there and just like her mouth is moving but no words are coming out and I think that's something that uh, all too often we kind of forget we either pray quietly only or we pray a, a little bit of time and we stop and I mean she's just praying and praying and praying there and she's just going and going and going until she hears an answer and Eli comes along at that moment and gives her God's answer uh, and says you know hey go in peace you're going to have a, a son. God will answer your prayer. And she's like, all right. And she gets up and then she goes. And she knows that the answer has come. And I think that at times we miss that we can pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. And we keep praying until we know God has said yes, no, wait, whatever the answer may be. Uh, in my own life, uh, I remember as a about a seven or eight year old, uh, I was probably eight at the time, uh, feeling like something was a little wrong with me because I didn't, I'd been saved since I was four, but I did not speak in tongues at that time. And uh, there was a big push in my uh, children's church at the time to, uh, where like everybody should be doing this, why, you know. And so I felt really weird, really wrong, like, I, I need to figure this out. So I went for that n Sunday night and prayed at the altar. And I prayed and prayed and prayed. And then God spoke to me right there. And he said, what are you praying for? And I said, to speak in tongues. And he said, why? And I said, well, because I want to. No, I need to, because need is obviously a better solution. And God said, no, you don't need to right now. When you need to, I'll give it to you. And that was my answer. And at that moment, I stopped because I had my answer. And so I want to encourage everybody, whatever you're seeking, whatever your belief is on gifts and all that, seek God. And when he answers you, take it as his answer and trust that. But don't stop praying until you have your answer. That's, that's the most important thing. Pray until the answer comes. Then, when you, are, when you receive that answer, go in faith, believing God has answered your prayer, and that you will see the miracle you have asked for. That's what Hannah did, and the Bible doesn't give us the exact timeline, but it sounds like it's pretty quick after she returns home that she then conceives and then the rest of the story I'm sure you're familiar with of Samuel. If not, first Samuel, it starts with Samuel. So you just go until you get everything you may be thinking about at this moment from that. Anyway, I just want to pray for us then and we'll go ahead and uh, carry on. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. Uh, to share with everybody and I thank you that you give to us everything that we need and you always answer our prayer to the benefit of your glory and the praise of your name so I just pray right now God that people that are seeking after things from you that you would 
give them that answer and help them to know you're, you're there and that you have answered them and to walk in faith, to, to believe that you will do everything that you say you do. In Jesus' name, amen.